So you feel unhappy with your life and you envision this potential life that you could have had if you've taken the right actions, if you've actually put your head down and didn't get distracted and actually was more purposeful. So sadly, you're back to your reality and your reality is not as good as the life that you envision or the life that you visualize, right? You, you think of this amazing life where you have a business or whatever your ideal life could be, right? It could be a life with a significant other it could be a life where you're good at this skill that you want to learn but you never seem to learn it. you never have time for it so what this comes down to is you're unhappy with your life because of your lack of action and let's break that down for a second so what causes you to take action very simple it's, it's not a difficult formula your thoughts influence your actions so knowing this it just means that your thoughts maybe in the past year maybe in the past few months that you've been in this rut and you're unhappy with your life your thoughts have not served you well your thoughts are basically your biggest enemy and you're probably a slave to them let's admit it many of us listening to this are probably a slave to their thoughts and this is why we're not successful if only you understood how much your thoughts actually impact your present day world and your reality you would take this stuff more seriously you would be maybe not trying to multitask right now but you would pay attention to this video really well so I'm about to change your life and take this in closely if you actually want to change your life. So there's a good quote by Brian Tracy. You might have heard of him. He says, your life is a reflection of your thoughts. If you change your thinking, you change your life. And this is exactly what I was saying before. The place that you'll be in three years and five years and 10 years is solely based on the type of thoughts that you tell yourself. Because we know, as I told you, your thoughts impact your actions. Or if you have these negative thoughts, these thoughts that don't serve you well, these thoughts just, just bring you down, then your actions are going to suck. They're going to be shit. You're literally not going to be taking action. You're going to be in place. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be sad all the time. You're not going to move forward. And it's solely based on the root problem and that is that your thoughts are shitty and you're a slave to them two things so isn't it crazy brother if you don't change your thoughts today and if you don't take action on this video it literally could be 10 years down the line and you still have the same repeating thoughts going over and over again how you're not going to succeed how this is not meant for you how you feel like an imposter how life sucks how this sucks all these negative thoughts they're not going to change unless you decide to change and i know that sounds cliche but it's a hundred percent true so Let's try this experiment the next time that you have a thought that doesn't serve you. It could be a thought about how your life sucks, and nothing is going for you, and this thing sucks, the economy is so bad, I hate my life. All these negative thoughts are just compound and compound every time you kind of think about them. That's when I really want you to pay attention to that thought and replace it with a positive thought. So you could be telling yourself this belief, which is not true. And you you know, deep inside, it's not true. You know, it's not true. It's this belief that I can't be successful with a business. I can't get girls or a belief of no one likes me or my life sucks. These are just things that you convince yourself are true. And they are essentially true in your mind because every single time that negative thought comes back again, like a boomerang, you accept it and you don't do anything about it. So this is why it's so important. So if you have this thought that I'll never be successful in a business and you hear that, you hear that voice and it's not you. It's what I call the inner bitch. It's not you. So you hear that voice and what you wanna do is you wanna replace it with a positive thought. So yeah, I mean, there's no reason why I won't succeed in a business. Or you know what? The world is not that bad. There's things I could be grateful for. There is things in my life that I choose to be grateful for and I'd rather not see it so negatively. So just switch that around and be conscious of that. Don't just tell yourself, yeah, more, I'm gonna do this, but actually be present with it and tell yourself, yeah, I'm gonna switch this around and I'm actually gonna say this right now. So you wanna say it in your head, but an extra step, if you're alone, for example, is actually say it out loud. And this is actually life-changing. This is actually life-changing advice that no one tells you. Say the flip version of that extremely negative thought that you just had and watch how your life changes as you keep repeating this, right? You don't have to do this every single bad thought because then you'll go crazy, you'll drive yourself crazy. But let's say there's this one thought and belief that you keep repeating in your brain. And you're like, yeah, shit, there's no way I'm gonna succeed in this. This is gonna suck. This sales call is gonna fail. This meeting is gonna suck. They're gonna hate me. Stop for a second, breathe and think about that for a second. That's not you. Once you're present of that thought, I want you to switch it around, give light to the positive version of that thought and even say it out loud, as I told you, if you're alone. Just imagine if you do this continuously and you try your best, right? It's not like catching every single thought that comes 
But there's this one thought that you keep repeating, this one limiting belief. Just stop for a second, breathe, and try to change that around. And just imagine in a few years, or a few months even, right? It's not gonna take you that long. Of doing this continuously, your life will change. And what that would mean is, we said your thoughts change your reality and your actions. You're gonna take better actions. You're gonna be less scared to take actions in your business. You're gonna have more direction and your limiting beliefs that you had in the past, they're just gonna run away. You're gonna forget them. So really control your thoughts or they're gonna control you. And it's just gonna be 10 years down the line and you're gonna be stuck with an even worse mind, an even worse life. But if you stop here and you're like, more actually has something good to say, this kind of makes sense. I wanna try this. And you know what? Whenever I have this really bad thought, I'm gonna say out loud or I'm gonna think to myself exactly the opposite of that. Because the opposite should be true. There's no reason why you can't be successful. There is no reason why you can't be grateful for your life right now. There are so many positives that you keep overlooking. You keep repeating these negative limiting beliefs, which are not true. And they're only true, as I said, because you said they are. So what if, enlighten this thought for a second, what if you flip that around and then over time, your reality will actually change? And by the way, being aware of your thoughts in the first place is a skill by itself. And I'm gonna keep repeating this to improve that skill, you need to keep meditating. This is a sign that you need to keep meditating. You haven't been consistent with it. So keep doing it because it'll allow you, that's step zero of this whole thing. It'll allow you to actually be conscious of that thought that's going in your brain. And then you stop for a second, just like I told you, breathe. And you're like, oh shit, what is this negative, weird thought I'm having? I did not put it there. Let's flip that around. And so it's very important that you keep practicing that skill of mindfulness, of meditation. And I have a few videos on that if you want. But again, bro, I hope this helped you. I'll see you next time. Peace.